vascular surgeon working at Apollo Hospital. As a vascular surgeon, the most challenging scenario is that when you come across a bleeding, especially on the operation table, even after all the things what we do, sometimes bleeding is a challenge. One of the big challenges which I had about two months back was that we had a small boy, especially a ninth grade school student who was stabbed in the neck and uh, he lost about two to three liters of blood. It was difficult to achieve the, control the bleeding. And with this so much of profuse bleeding from the neck, then what I did is that immediately I had to just pack. What I did is I used this axiostat, I packed the, packed the wound and I just sutured the wound. Then I took him to the cat lab and I did an angiogram on the vertebral artery at that site where I have packed the axiostat. That, that, that area had almost clotted up. The flow stopped and of course that boy recovered very well. Apart from this, I have used axiostat in many situations, especially when I do a common femoral endotrectomy where you know you take off um, the part of the in endothelium as well as the intima and media. We are hardly left with a very thin layer of uh, the adventitia and we put a vein patch over there. And finally, you know, all those, the, 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 the blood starts oozing from all the, this one, the patch site where, where we have taken a hole and there's, of course, the, the adventitia is very, very uh, fragile on the native blood vessel. So I have used axiostat and then to go, you know, stop the suture hole bleeding and it, it is amazing, it gives excellent results, it's very prompt in action and uh, you know in fact uh, I have started using this axiostat of, on all the patients whom I do arterial and venous surgeries and then I after that after my uh, application of the sutures and anastomosis and then after I put a patch uh, then the, my it is my normal practice actually to use this axiostat to stop the bleeding and then eh, the wound heals up very well, there is no reaction from the body and I have not had any patient who has come back with wound infection. So if everything is sterile, you use a, you use a, a clean technique to use, uh, to use this product, I think it, this product really gives a very good um, the hemo seal and then uh, I have not had any major issues with my patients using this product. Even after angiogram, supposing if you are, you know, say doing, uh, uh, using a big sheet, say about 8 front sheet or 9 front sheet, up to 11 front sheet, I've used this and to seal the, this one, the, the puncture hole, I actually use this and then it, it gives excellent results and uh, uh, all my patients have, have been doing very well and I have I'm not had any adverse events especially the arterial thrombosis or venous thrombosis following the use of this. So basically I think it is a very good alternative. Earlier we used to get tacosil, but now this axiostat is really very helpful for me in terms of vascular surgery. I'm 100% sure if this helps me, it would also help other surgeons like vascular surgeons, uh, sorry, the cardiothoracic surgeons, the general surgeons when they are dealing with uh, trauma patients, especially liver trauma and splenic trauma, and other organ injuries. I think it's it's an excellent uh, uh, product, and I would recommend uh, this product to be used in extremely difficult cases where the wounds, the bleeding, especially the bleeding wounds, which cannot be controlled by surgical means where this comes in to help and, and I think it, it's got a profound, uh, you know, the sealing effects, especially on the small bleeding uh, capillaries and the, the arterioles and venules. I think this product will have a great perspective in, in especially among the surgic, surgeons who are, uh, who are operating on the blood vessels or on the solid visceral organs. Uh, that's, that's my view about Axiostat. Thank you.